Hopefully we can get you back out on the road. Oh yeah. Caddy! Did you call me daddy? I want to hug you, I want to do all sorts, but I can't. Hello and welcome to Car Throttle, my name is Alex and in the first of a special two-part series brought to you by our friends Gion, we're helping a couple of car enthusiasts who have had a bad time of it recently get their pride and joy back up to their former glory. Which is why you join me today in Derbyshire where I'll be collecting a Mark III MX-5 and alongside resident Car Throttle mechanic Gareth Potter, we'll be fixing it, cleaning it up and giving it back to owner Dave Smith. But before we get our hands dirty, let's take a look at Dave's story. Hi, I'm David Smith. And I'm Laura Smith. Last year I nearly died of Covid. So at the beginning of April of last year, 2020, I was working at a care home with Laura. As of the late March, I started to feel unwell. Covid was going around, it felt like a bit of a cold, a cough. We got to April 13th and Laura came home from work to find me semi-conscious on the floor. So the paramedics got him on a stretch, bought a stretcher in and got him into the ambulance and they told me you, you need to say goodbye to him because we're not sure if he's going to come back. So I basically sat at home not knowing if he'd died, not knowing what to tell his family and then basically they kicked him out of hospital the next day uh, on antibiotics because they just didn't have the capacity to keep him in and then now we're having to deal with your chronic fatigue after he got the COVID, he got pleurisy, which of course were like another six sort of six weeks healing. So my lungs are they're recovering, but it's a slow recovery. After six months of being ill, you don't think there's any hope. You don't think there's an end to it because you don't feel better, you feel worse. So you go one step forward, four back, and it's been like that for a good year now. I lost my endurance straight away. I couldn't breathe properly. Just trying to walk up the flight of steps, I couldn't get up all the way. Mentally being like isolated is not good for you. And I think for Laura, mentally, it's not good for her, having been through that experience. Last year's trauma sort of pushed us in the direction to start a family. Life's too short. Clearly anything could happen because up until that point, Dave was fit, healthy, and it went from doing everything to doing absolutely nothing. So the reason that I emailed you guys and sought out for Dave to get some help with his car was before COVID, washing his car and going outside and tinkering with the car was one of the things that always relaxed him. So it's really sort of dragged him down to seeing the car in the state it's in. Having the car, anything done to the car, it'd just be a pick me up. Even if it were just someone coming to look at it saying, yo, your car's nice. I walk past it and I get bothered by it. There's just something about it. It's been in the family. It feels like the family. I know it's a Mark III and it's the boat, but for me, it's my Mark III. Right, so Dave, here it is. It is looking a little bit sorry for itself, isn't it? I'd love to have the wheels in good metal grey, the ducktail spoiler. I'd love to have my stars. Jack, this is giving me some ideas. I think, uh, I think Dave just thinks that we're going to clean the car, but we're going to do more, aren't we? I think that pretty much covers it. Thank you very much for uh, A, telling us your story and B, showing us your car. We're going to take your car away, clean it up a little bit, and then we'll deliver it back to you and Thank hopefully you put much. a smile on your face. Appreciate that. That's uh, it's just amazing after the year, especially. I really, feel really privileged to have you guys here. Oh, amazing. Well, the, the pleasure story. is all ours, and um, hopefully we can get you back out on the road enjoying the boat. Right, so it is now the next day, and as you can see, Dave's MX-5 is at This Is Your Garage, as is Car Throttle's resident mechanic, Gareth Potter. First impressions? Not bad. I, I like the way he is actually wax sold every single part of the underneath of this car. Yeah. Mitigating yeah. any signs of rust. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well done, Dave. So the good thing is, is that Dave thinks that we're <coughs> taking the car away just to clean it. We're going to go a little bit more in depth. So I told him to give us his ducktail spoiler, which yeah. we're going to get painted up. The wheels, going to try and get those painted up. We're thinking as well, suspension. Dave did mention Meister R, so I'll be giving Meister R a call and seeing if we can buy some in time. And then anything else that we come across um, that needs changing or we think we can upgrade to put a smile back on Dave's face. After a quick inspection to see what parts we'd need to make Dave's MX-5 awesome again, we got to work stripping the car. Uh, right, so as you can see, we're actually pulling apart the suspension um, we haven't ordered anything yet, but we're going on the proviso that we'll be able to get all the parts that we need for next week. 
If not, then we're giving Dave back his car in pieces. So, here's hoping. down the side. Oh, oh, that was too easy. Something's bound to go wrong, right? Oh. Yeah, I think we just need to drop this uh, drop link off. <laughs> no, no, there we go. No. Oh. We don't need tools, Dick, oh, where we're going. Oh. That was really stressful for He's me at the end there. sweating. Oh. Oh. Right, so while Gareth is busy taking off the drop links because they're proving to be quite a nightmare because they probably haven't moved for forever, no uh, I'm busy taking off the caliper because the pads are going to be changed. The discs themselves are in pretty good nick, so we don't need to change those, but we're going to get some nice EBC pads um, just to give a little bit more bite for Dave when he's really going for it on the nice country roads where he lives. After a day in the bay, we'd removed the tired suspension, brake pads and anti-roll bars. The next job now is to get the parts ordered, ready for us to return with MX-5 presence in a few days. Welcome back to day two of our transformation of Dave's MX-5. As you can see, we've got a couple of boxes. What have you got there? I have two anti-roll bars, front and rear, so I'm excited about putting those on. We have brakes from EBC, yep. so he's going to love them. And uh, obviously the drop links to support these new bars and some polyurethane bushes for the anti-roll bars. So Dave, you're welcome. But Dave, we're not done there because on top of that, we've got those Meister R's that you spoke about in our little walk around. You said one day you'd love to have some. So um, here you go. We bought you some Meister R Club Sports, fully adjustable, helper springs to the lot. This is like the Mac daddy of suspension, especially for MX-5. So, Super excited to get these on. Enough talking, should we just crack on with the build? Bit more. Oh, what was that? Just gotta feed it in gently. The pictures made it seem a lot easier. Oh. Oh Christ. Yeah? Um, Where are we? Oh, maybe it didn't go in like that. No? No. Ah, it's better? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's better. Yeah. What we'll do is we'll cut the first one out and it would just seem like it just seamlessly went in, alright Jack? Meanwhile, I'd booked in Adam from Smart Rims to transform Dave's wheels from forgettable to f me, those wheels look awesome, in Adam's kitted out mobile wheel van. Also being worked on was Dave's ducktail spoiler that needed painting. Cue Dan at Paint Tech just around the corner who did an amazing job in very limited time. As for Gareth and I, we were also very busy. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, it's so good. Ah. Oh, on the back. Oh. Anyway, back to the job at hand. So that wiggly goes there. So nothing. Oh, they are actually instructions. Oh. I've just not read them. Oh. So there is our rose joint link anti-roll bar. Oh, don't over tighten them, by the way. How tight is over tight? When it snaps, it's over tight. Ah. Hold it up. Hold it up. Yeah. Okay. Hold I'm, holding, it up. I'm holding the whole weight of the car there. See that? <laughs> Not even got a sweat on. You're shiny. Yeah. 
Oh my god, death. This is so frustrating. It's like the car made for little people. This is why people buy BMWs. Just moaning. I'm hearing a lot of this. I'm just tired. Right, I got one for your side. Thank you. Yeah, it's got Sorry. a chin strap. Hold on. Yeah. 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 Like a glove. Do you feel safe? I feel so safe. Can you remember how this went in? You yeah. asking me that question, Jack? I got a memory like it. What's it? What's an animal that has a long memory? An elephant. Did I have a memory. Like. <laughs> <laughs> This is more like cardio than it is weightlifting. And I'm really bad at cardio. It's because you're fat. With the new anti-roll bars, coilovers and brakes finally in, Dan from Paintech arrived with the spoiler for us to put in place. The only thing left to do is to put these lovely refreshed wheels back on. They and are then, beautiful, yeah. And then the car will look completely transformed. And then, we need to lower the car and hope that we haven't completely screwed up the ride height. Yeah, so I think there will be a little bit of fettling towards the end, adjusting the um, coilovers, and then I think we're good to go. Yeah, and then we yeah. give the car a proper detail. Right, so let's get these refreshed wheels on now and see how awesome the car looks. Good day, sir. Hello, sir. Uh, I, have sir. A, I have an MX-5 Mark III. This filthy MX-5? It's right behind you, actually. Yeah. Uh, I need to get it cleaned. What can you recommend for me, sir? I've got an extensive, vast array of products here for you and your MX-5. You do? All delicious looking. Yeah, this is obviously all the Gion products that we're going to be using. Polish, compound, compound, foam. Clay bar. Fabric cleaner, clay bar, we'll be using that. What we're going to get started with, I think, I mean, I don't want to tell you to do your job because this is all your product, right? Yeah. Is that for later? <laughs> we're going to start with foam. Everyone loves snow foam. Yeah. So we're going to kind of decontaminate it. We're going to put it on, leave it for five minutes, and you have to start from the bottom and then work your way up. I learned that this morning because they have a YouTube channel as well. We're going to clay bar. You'll give a bit of a polish as well? We'll give it a bit of a polish okay. as well. And then we'll do like a 50-50 so we can see okay. how much better it looks. Literally everything that's wrong with your car or your paint, dirt, filth, they have it all. Oh, that is, that's not moving. That's thick. Yeah, we like that. Bring around my little helper. Thank you, sir. That is good. That is so thick. Let me have a go. Caddy. Did you call me daddy? Caddy. <laughs> oh. After snow foaming, washing and then rinsing, it's on to the next step to get Dave's MX-5 looking a million dollars. I like to let him have a go, you know, make him feel like he's involved. Infinitely better already. Even now, yeah. To protect the roof, we use Gion's fabric coat and then it's on to the next step. Let's have a feel. There's a lot of contaminants. So, clay bar it is. There should be some clay lube. There yes. we go. Oh, Look at that colour. I want to drink that so bad. I know, yeah. You drink that and I'll drink this orange juice. Um, don't drink Gion products. Just no, around. no. Just use them on your car. So I'm going to spray it on the bit of clay that we flattened out. And I'm going to spray it on the panel, the clay lube. And I'm just going to work it back and forth in straight lines. Can you lube me up? Yeah, I can be, yeah. Turn it over, knead it, and then jobs are good. And feels amazing. Oh, I want to be it. Look at that, that's mad. Right, so we've got this bit of matter here, and I reckon the best way to get rid of it is this uh, tar remover. I don't know what it is, it's tarry, sticky stuff. So I reckon, let's give it a quick hit. Oh my God, that comes straight off. Well, now that Alex has rinsed it off, we need some silk dryers. Look at the size of this. Wow, that's huge. This is big enough to do almost like the whole, oh, whole rear. Go on. Oh, it's only gone and bloody done it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Oy. come on. Come on. Where's he going? Where's he going? He's only carrying on. Car's done. Car's dry. So we know now that Gion towels are large enough to do an entire car in one swoop. <laughs> From 
like three meters. It looks great, yeah. but we're going to polish it and we're also going to do some like 50-50. So what we're going to use is a dual action polisher, chuck some of that compound on it, um, and then we'll just give this a pass and then we'll see how much better this looks versus what it is now. You've got to be delicate with this. Why are they giving it to me? Uh, yeah, you shouldn't be doing this. Should I give it a go? I'll give it a go. You're uh, the opposite end of delicate. I am, yeah. Genuinely, who can say that? I did that. Well, the product did it. You were on. I was. I just happened to. You be were the meat puppet on the end of it. I really was. Look at that. Right. So it looks like it's going to rain. So we're going to bring the MX5 inside, continue polishing, and then I reckon also we'll be able to see the results a lot better. Right, so now we know how awesome the product is, let's crack on with the rest of the car and completely transform it. Right, so, car is compounded, but we're not done there, apparently. No, you're not done. No. We need to polish the whole car, which means doing the whole thing over, but with polish. And now I'm going to plonk some bits on our fresh new pad. You don't want to use the same pad, Jack. And then if you wouldn't mind taking it away. I'll hold that. Oh, for crying out You're loud. so good at it. I am actually quite good at it. So obviously we had these wheels painted, so it'd be quite nice to be able to protect them. So while Alex is polishing the rest of the car, I'm going to apply rim to our freshly painted wheels. So the whole idea of this is it's like a ceramic coating for your rims. It's very important to protect your rim. It is. Well, it's not my rim. No, it's Dave's rim. I've been doing Dave's rim, yeah. You have been doing Dave's rim, yeah. You've I'm been going to town on that. I've, I've, I've done a real good job on Dave's rim. Then it's time to spray on the product prep that's a pre-coating product which removes all light oils and fingerprints. And the final step is Gion's Can Coat, probably the easiest and fastest to apply ceramic coating. We're back at Dave's place. Dave, good to see you again. Nice to see you all. How are you doing? We've got your car, but it's around the corner. What's it been like not having your beloved MX-5 out in the driveway that your dad actually used to own as well? It's been strange not seeing it, because I'd walk out and you always look at your cars. I don't know what it is. Even if you're going out to the bin, you walk out and you go, oh, my car's missing. I'd love to see it as it was when my dad first got it. It wasn't pristine, but it only done a thousand miles. All right, well, um, I think the only thing left to do is to um, stand in the driveway yeah. and then uh, we'll do a little reveal and hopefully you'll like what we've done with it. All right, let me go <laughs> and grab your car. And we've you've got a made, wing on it. We've got a wing. We've made a few other changes. Oh, the wheels. The wheels and the ride height. And the brake pads. And the brake pads. You've now got Meister R's. Ooh, I'm gobsmacked. Yeah? <laughs> the paintwork itself has really come up nicely. No foamed, yeah. then washed then clay barred, then compounded, then polished, yeah. and then ceramic waxed using the Gion uh, spray on ceramic wax. It's phenomenal how it looks in the sun. Yeah. Like that glassy effect. I never got it looking this good. Oh, I'm over the moon. Good. More than happy. I want to hug you, I want to do all sorts, but I can't. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just Laura was saying, don't get your hopes up, it's just a polish. And then as you pulled up, I didn't even notice because it's just subtle. And I didn't even notice it's not obscenely low either. You'll get a real kick out of this now, I think. I just, thank you. You're very welcome. And thank you to everyone yeah. who thanks supports everyone the watching, channel. And yeah, thanks to Gion as well for, um, for making this happen. Yeah. And thank you to you as well for being a good sport and sharing your story. Yeah, I'll, like I say, I want to help people who've gone through it. Um, I know I'm not the only person. I'm very lucky to be here now with my car looking like it is. Um, and I'm sure it's gonna give me a big boost now for my recovery. Right then, I guess all that's left to say then is from me, from Dave, from Gion, 
Thank you very much for watching. Um, hope you've enjoyed this as much as Dave has enjoyed the transformation. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link. Watch more videos, where? Down there. And don't forget to check out Gion in the description below. Have a great weekend. Dave, any final thoughts? Wicked. Wicked. <laughs> See you next time.